Hey guys, Andy Lou here. So you recently purchased a new MacBook Pro and now you're looking to upgrade your docking station to a dual or triple monitor setup to better your workflow. But which docking station do you choose? I narrowed it down to these two options. The TOTU triple display docking station in the Fallwetty 12-in-1 hub. We're going to be talking about my experiences with these two options and at the end, hopefully you can make a better decision for you. With that being said, let's get right into it. First, let's get into the design. Let me start by saying I really like the design of the TOTU docking station. It's small, compact, well-built, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. It has a bit of a weight to it, which adds to the premium feel. And you also have four rubber feet at the bottom of the unit, which keeps it from sliding and possibly scratching your desk. Now, the Fallwetty Hub is a much smaller design, super compact, and has a quality build to it as well. It's lighter than the TOTU, which makes it more of a portable option if the need arises. Okay, on to the ports. On the front, the TOTU has two USB 3.0 ports, a headphone jack, a mic input, and SD and micro SD readers. And on the back, you have your ethernet port, a USB-C power pass-through, one USB 3.0, and two USB 2.0 ports. You also have two HDMI ports, a single display port, and a USB-C host connector port. Using an HDMI and a display port can yield up to a 4K resolution at 30 Hz, which is not bad. And over on the Fallwetty Hub, you have two USB 3 ports, a single USB 2 port, and both SD and micro SD readers on the front. On the bottom, there is an ethernet and a VGA port. Didn't know VGA was still a thing in 2020, but to each its own. On the top, you have a single headphone jack. And finally on the back, you have two HDMI ports, a USB 2.0, and the power delivery port to charge your MacBook. Oh, and the HDMI ports can output 4K resolution at 60 Hertz when it's used at simultaneously. All right, now that we got the design and the ports out the way, let's see how these guys perform. So performance, you know the drill by now. TOTU is up first. After setting it up initially, everything seemed to work just fine. USB ports were fine, headphone jack fine, card readers fine, and host connector fine. You get the picture. Everything was working as expected until we got to the displays. That's where everything started to go left. Uh, let me, uh, let me show you how far left it went. Far left. When I plugged into one of the HDMI ports, right off the bat, it wasn't looking too good for TOTU. I expected to see a nice, crispy, high resolution screen, but ended up with what looked like a dull 720p display. And that's just scraping the surface. Believe it or not, things got a lot worse when I added the second HDMI cable. As soon as I plugged it in, the screen went black. I mean, neither of the external screens turned on. Then I noticed some lag while moving the cursor. Whether it was on the desktop or the browser, the lag continued and the external screens never came back on. Even got to the point to where I couldn't charge my laptop. I had to restart the MacBook in order to charge again. Not gonna lie, had really high hopes for this guy. Totu, you let me down, man.
Now, on the other hand, the Fall Weddy Hub was surprisingly impressive. Much like the initial setup of the Totu, the ports appeared to work fine as expected. When I plugged in the first HDMI cable, the screen extended as expected and the resolution was vibrant and sharp. So far, all is good. Now, I went ahead and plugged in the second HDMI cable and it worked. I now have two fully functioning screens with content viewing and video editing and more. In addition to the dual monitor setup, I can open up my MacBook to add a third display, upgrading my setup from a dual monitor setup to a triple monitor setup. I ran this setup for a while and hadn't had any issues with it. All of the screens work and can display independent content. The hub gets a little warm when it's in use, but to be honest, I haven't been able to find a hub that didn't warm up a bit when transferring files or extended screens. So that wraps it up for this one, guys. Were you just as surprised as I was to see the Fall Weddy Hub outperform the Toe 2 display? Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you wanna see more content like this. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.